If you got one of these fake GTX 750 Ti video cards from eBay, that's actually a 550 Ti. If you want to flash the BIOS, you can get a programmer off of eBay for around five bucks, and a clip for about around three or five bucks. But you're going to back up the BIOS just in case it's on it. So download the uh, GPU Z and click on the button that you to back up the BIOS. Just going to name mine Backup VGA. Hit save. Once it's backed up, shut down your computer and take the cooler off the card. I loosen the screws off a bit on each one so that you don't put too much pressure on just one corner. And uh, take that screw out and the other one. You don't want to take like all three screws out because you end up putting a lot of pressure on one side of the one corner of the chip. And I will flip it over here. And the BIOS chip on this card is right there. And there, pin one is marked by a little round dot or bump in the chip. Now you're gonna have to take a good camera and take a picture of it to figure out what, what chip is in there just in case it's different than mine and you want to clean it with the uh, alcohol before you put the uh, programming clip on there so that you get a good connection you don't uh, get a bad flash pin one is the red wire and the little bump in the chip is uh, pin one so just carefully clip it on try to make sure it's all the way clipped on and here's the program, and you're using a 25 SPI chip programmer. There's pin 1. And just clip it in like that. As you can see on the other side, that's pin 1 of uh, what would be the chip if you were to put a chip in. And I already downloaded the BIOS and software and unzipped it. You just double click on the uh, in the directory there and uh, this software is a little flaky you might have to install the driver more than once but to double click on the driver click install and uh, once the driver is successfully installed you can close that and then run the CH341 software. Unfortunately, it doesn't always detect your chip. My chip was a PM25. That chip right there wasn't an exact match, but it's close enough. And there's the uh, BIOS that's on the chip. And we're just going to open up the BIOS, the ASUS BIOS. and auto program cross your fingers that it works and the chip buffer is the same so it should be good and I'm going to verify it again and just reassemble your card after this put the cooler back on with some good thermal compound and you're good to go here's a quick look at the card in GPU Z just to show that uh, that's been flashed properly to a 550 Ti all the specs are correct and I have run an extended test of Furmark for an hour with no graphical anomalies so hopefully this helps you get some use out of your card and have the correct drivers installed instead of the problem drivers thanks for watching bye